Hello artists, how are you today? Stephanie Ani coming to you from the banks of the Trinity River here in Six Rivers National Forest near Willow Creek, California. Oz and I welcome you to the studio. So happy you are here today with us. Um, so we are continually continuing on with our daily video. And this is actually the full week's project. And um, this is what resulted after the week. So this is Friday's project. So this is called Build a Doodle. And basically what we're doing, and, and that name can change as we go along. Um, what we're doing here today on Monday is we're just working with basic pattern. We're just working with pattern, right? Um, we're taking about 10 minutes out of our day to work with patterns and there's a reason for this because as we go along we're gonna build upon our patterns upon our lines and upon our borders to make a piece of artwork on Friday so I know that it's tempting to jump ahead but if we can just try to stay with pattern today I have a lot of different handouts to give my patreons the thing is, is I'm actually not going to do that. And the reason that I'm not going to give those to you guys um, is that I don't want you to be copying other people's pattern. I'll go ahead and give you my patterns, but they're not the greatest. I'm not going to lie, guys. This is a new thing for me, right? I, I don't really ever doodle. I, it just wasn't a part of my activities, you know? So try to just keep simple patterns for today, right? Um, on day two, we're gonna work more with lines. So I'm not gonna go any further than that right now, just to show you patterns. Do it for 10 minutes, take those circles and make some cool patterns. Um, I rushed, I didn't rush. I was setting time limits on myself because I didn't wanna get fixated on doing something perfect right we know that i do that i don't want you to fixate on doing something perfect we're just playing with different patterns okay so patreons i'm actually not going to provide that for you i will m consider providing you with a pdf of all of these different things maybe after we're done with it and then um you can see where i'm getting all of my different reference photos from for this now, I, I'm going to warn you, I was looking through, um, I just opened up the Stampington. And here is a practice that they are doing with those, um, they're doing the same thing here. They are encouraging you to doodle. So, it's not a new concept. And in fact, I think I found it from Creations by Cece, I think is the name of her YouTube channel. And I really mm, kind of formulated this concept around one of those watercolor doodle um, projects that she did. And she does some really cool stuff. And what I wanted to do was, my goal is to provide you with a comfort level for sketching. Okay, so we have to start somewhere. So this first day, just start with just some patterns, okay? And then we'll go from there. Do it for 10 minutes. It's just trying to get you daily sketching, trying to get you used to the pen. It's getting you used to different mediums. And you can use, you don't have to just use a pen. I, I liked my gel pen on this, but I actually just received my Micron, um, uh, I'm sorry, it's the ma manga? <laughs> I think they're microns. I thought they were micron pens. They are micron pens. And of course the paints that I used are this Winsor Newton um, paint uh, set. I liked that a lot. It's a little tiny travel set. Pretty cool. Um, I'll put links for these things into the Amazon links. Okay, that's enough blah blah blah. Just try to work on patterns today, okay? Do like the squares, do like circles, do triangles, do 
mm, don't do lines. We're just doing patterns today. See, you guys can you guys can kick my butt over this one. I'm sure you guys can do, come up with better things than I can. This is the first time I've done it. So show me what you got over on Messy Hands. Woohoo! And we'll build on this tomorrow. Okay, guys, I hope you have a great day. We'll chat soon. Bye. Okay, artists, I haven't really done these before, so I don't really know what to expect. Um, I did see this, um, a process similar to this from uh, another YouTube artist. I'll put it down in the um, technique videos. But basically, what we're looking at is just starting to fill in these circles with shapes. I don't know why I decided to do this kind of diamond shape, except I, I think I saw it here somewhere. Now I'm doing kind of rhombuses. It doesn't matter what you're doing. Um, what does matter, these little squares are kind of fun now, uh, just that you are trying to keep it under a minute. You're doing something fun. You're getting your hand used to using the pen, right? We're just doing some fun shapes here. And it ends up that I'm actually following the pattern of the circle and giving it some fun little dimension crazily in there. It's completely fun. I think we're probably at a minute though. Yep, you know, not looking for anything amazing or spectacular. What we're looking for, first off, is to just get our hand used to drawing. I'm varying the shapes and the sizes. It's really quite fun. Now I'm adding a little extra corally cues in it. This does not have to be anything. This is just purely doodling. It's kind of fun. I, I don't really ever doodle, so. Um, let's see what else we could do. We could do bigger circles that interlock with some dots. Now, I know that this is about making patterns and repeating patterns. Um, You know, I'm always going to think about composition when I'm doing it. You see why our, um, our circles didn't have to be perfect? I mean, what fun is this? I, I think it's really cool. Let's uh, work on some chicken scratch lines. Now, you can look up all of this stuff on Pinterest and, and find different patterns. I'm going to provide Patreons with my patterns. Um, and you can practice them if you want to, or you can take inspiration from them as you want to. There's no rules. There, you know, try to do your own doodles would be the only thing I could think of. Um, and for this first one, we're just going to stick with um, basic kind of little shapey things. I like the little stars. They're kind of cute. And we are always thinking about what we can do in our books with these. Or, you know, how, how we can take this on to other aspects of our art. And why are we doing this? Well, we're doing this so that we can get a better feeling for drawing. Right? And we're just going to start really basic. And hopefully, at the end of the month, we'll have some better skills and then we'll keep building on those. We are going to have fun projects at the end of every week, though, hopefully. 
do I love how these are all turning out? No. But it's not to love or to not to, you know, it's just to, to be. We're just playing. Um, I'm just looking here to see if I can gain any more inspiration. I got five minutes left, so I'm doing this right at about the right time. I think these little hearts are really cute. I'm gonna kind of change them up here a little bit so that I can draw them faster. Instead of doing this type of thing, I'm just gonna do that. So we're just loosening our hands up, just doing some mark making. Okay, so I want to do 10 in 10 minutes. Um, I'm going to trade onto a different type of pen. How about that? Um, where's the fine point? Sharpie. I guess that one will work. Um, okay, so this is the rougher surface. You see how it's kind of, it's grabbing my pen. They're little at signs. I can't help but to um, make them go with the shape. It's just kind of funny. Let's see what little X's do. I like those. Um, almost at 10 minutes so I'm gonna keep going I'm just wanting to keep it simple and then let's switch to a different type of pen I'm just kind of looking and see what other thoughts are those would take a lot of sketching Triangularly, we're doing the same one again. This is just a regular ballpoint pen. Um, spotted. I don't like that pen nearly as much. This is the thinner gel point pen. Ooh, the squiggles are kind of cool. Oh, 
Okay, so that is right a little bit over 10 minutes of pattern. So um, just try to keep it simple here for 10 minutes and then tomorrow we'll come back and we'll start playing with some lines. Yeah, shape lines, easy, easy, easy. Remember, we're building, okay? So this is a building block for what's coming next. I want you to just kind of have some fun with it and play. You know, don't, don't think that these have to be perfect little anything. They're just little scribbles. I like that one the best. I like that one too. That one's cool. <laughs> Anyways, okay guys, well that's your practice for today. Just do patterns. Let me see your patterns. Um, try to do 10 within 10 minutes. If you get a couple extra more done, that's cool. It's great. Um, just loosen up the hand. Okay, guys, I hope you have a great day, and we'll chat soon. Bye.